Hi there YouTube, Extreme Trains here. So in this video we're taking a look at I think the most anticipated engine, in, at least in my view, from the All Engines Go new wave we've been looking at on this channel. And it's the one that people have been asking about. It is this one here. Uh, it's Toby. I'm very, very excited to check him out. He looks like a very, very interesting uh, push along engine for a number of reasons. Uh, and I'm very excited to be able to go through him in detail with you today. So what are we waiting for? Let's do it. Toby is here. Uh, again, very similar packaging to all the other engines we've seen so far. What I will note though, is immediately when you pick him up, it feels heavy. It feels much heavier than any of the other engines in this wave. Um, obviously we're gonna do a bit of size comparison in a moment, but yeah, Toby is big and you can really feel that even in the packaging. So I, that maybe, I don't know, maybe that's, is that something that's appealing to kids? I'm not sure, but Let's take him out of his packaging, free him from this prison, and take a look at ourselves. As we're doing the turn, the weight of this is something else. I will get my scales out in a moment just to do a compare, but wow, he feels so substantial. Um, I've just, you know, picked up the Harold. He feels so much heavier than Harold. I picked up the Thomas. He feels so much heavier than Thomas. It's it's wild how big this Toby is. I'm not sure why they've done it this way either, because in the show, he wasn't that much bigger than any of the other tank engines. So, um, again, I haven't seen him in the show, but just from looking at some of the reference pictures. So I'm not sure why they've done that exactly, but looking at that face, that is a fantastic face. Matches what is on the show extremely well. Very, very happy with that. Love that we've got the detailing here. Disappointed that we haven't got the headlamp painted, given it's molded. And given they went to the effort to paint the buffer detailing, both the red and the black. Sad that you missed out on that on the top, but it is what it is. Coming around to the side, the molding again on this is just fantastic. We've got the relief here for the cabin, for the windows. So you're going to get that plastic insert behind the metal uh, kind of body of the, of the toy. The paint is just incredible. We've got the seven, we've got all of these stripes. We've even got the little bits of silver for the handrails, as well as the parts around the windows. Excellent paintwork. Love the detailing here on the cow catcher. Those little molded bits is great. Come around to the back again, quite plain, disappointing that we don't have back painted buffer detail, uh, but certainly I'm glad we've got it on the front at least. Uh, so that's, that's definitely something. Coming around to the top, again, more detail. We've got this little plastic bell. We've got the funnel. I'm not sure if these are the correct placements for all engines go. I assume they are, but if someone else knows in the comments below, please let me know. And then we come down to the bottom, and again, you can see we've got Toby written there. Uh, it seems like a standard chassis, and you can see his wheels don't have the little paint on them, which is probably correct. It would be silly for them to paint, given how little you can see of them. But yeah, this Toby looks great. It's huge. He is truly ginormous. If we put him next to Thomas, he just dwarfs Thomas, and he's he's quite rectangular, quite tall. There you go, you can see it like this. I don't know why they didn't make him squarer, um, which seems to me like it would have been a little bit more proportionally correct, potentially. Again, haven't seen the show a lot, and obviously the stretchy nature of these engines mean they kind of shift and move around, but I'm keen to hear everyone else's thoughts. But yeah, Toby is huge. He's a monster. I'm going to go grab my kitchen scale so we can get some quantification on just how much bang for your buck you're getting for this engine. And remember, this is the same price as the Sandy. It's in the same price category, uh, and potentially that's why, because they were saving up all that extra material they didn't use on Sandy for Toby. But uh, let's take a look right now. Okay, I have brought up my kitchen scale here and turned it off. Uh, you can see it's zero grams. Let's put Thomas on the scales. Right, so Thomas is about 54 grams compared to Toby. Wow, Toby is almost 90 or 89 grams. That is almost, you know, it's not quite double, but it's getting close. Uh, it's just so much more toy than what you get. Let's do a comparison then with Harold. He's gonna stay focused. Harold is 51. So again, you're getting pretty close. Let's look at whiff from this wave. 54. So again, it just goes to show that there's quite a lot of Toby there. It's it's unusual in my view uh, that we've got so many engines that are large together. You would think that uh, you know, to account for the cost increased costs of you know this much extra metal essentially, um, that they would want to pack this wave with Sandy. But I don't think Sandy is in this wave. So, just goes to show you, very very interesting. 
Comparing the final wave then of these new All Engines Go metal engines, good and interesting wave. I like the diversity of characters. It's great we're finally getting Toby, even if he's maybe a little bit too big, which I never thought I was going to say. Whiff is great, and also Harold is, Harold is great, um, and it's good to see that he has landed here. It's unfortunate it's the same time as this one, uh, but it's also very glad to have. Uh, my view would be go out and buy this if you can see it, particularly Toby, I think, is a standout. But depending on who you're buying for, particularly if you're buying as a gift, it might be that Whiff is a more appropriate option. But I will leave that in the audience's capable hands. As always, thanks very much for watching. Can't wait to hear your comments down below. This is all we've got time for. This is Extreme Trains.